What do you have in common with water in a glass, air in a balloon, and a piece of wood? Like you, these things are examples of matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It occurs in three different states, namely solid, liquid, and gas. Matter is composed of particles. This illustrates that all matter is made up of tiny particles. They are held together by forces of varying strength. The forces between these particles determines whether they are solid, liquid, or gas. You cannot see these particles. The idea that matter is made up of tiny particles was thought of more than 2,000 years ago. A man named Democritus said that if you keep on cutting a chunk of gold, there will come a time when you can no longer cut it. This smallest particle that can no longer be cut is what he called an atom. Do you want to see how the particles behave for every state of matter? A pencil, a book, and a chair are all examples of solids. What can you say about the shape of solids? Come with me. Solids have a definite shape and a definite volume. Why? Because the particles in a solid are very close together, the solid keeps its shape. The particles in the solid vibrate back and forth. They are held in a fixed position by strong forces. Milk and water are examples of liquids. What can you say about the shape of liquids? Let's take a look. Liquids have a definite volume, but do not have a definite shape. Liquids take the shape of their containers. Why? It's because the particles in a liquid move around freely. If you pour a liquid into different containers, the liquid always takes the shape of the container. The volume of the liquid, however, stays the same. For example, a liter of water will not fit into a half-liter bottle. The air in a balloon, clouds, and smoke are examples of gases. What can you say about the shape of gases? Follow me. Gases have no definite shape or volume because the particles in a gas move constantly and rapidly in all directions. These particles are much farther apart than the particles in solids or in liquids. Do you know what plasma is? Plasma also describes a state of matter. But of the four states of matter, it is the least popular. This is because most of the examples of plasma are not naturally occurring. They are rare on Earth, but abundant in the universe. Just like solids, liquids, and gases, plasma is made up of particles. The arrangement of particles of plasma is very similar to that of a gas. However, the characteristics of gases are very different from those of plasma. 
This is because plasma is an ionized gas. What is an ionized gas? At a very high temperature, gas particles split into ions and free electrons. Ions are charged particles, while electrons are subatomic particles that are negatively charged. This is how the particles of plasma are like. How much have you learned? Let's find out. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Phew! We really learned a lot. We hope you learned a lot, too. See you soon!